Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching the most excellent series on machine learning using BLE Sense, Arduino 33 BLE Sense. All right, guys. So let's see how far we have come. We have almost uh, installed almost all the required uh, sensor libraries, which can basically activate all the sensors within the board and we can start doing some coding and exercise and stuff like that. Now, in this lesson, we are going to install TensorFlow. It's a very important lesson, guys. So pay attention to this. So what is a TensorFlow? TensorFlow Lite, actually. It's not, there, there are multiple versions, right? So we are going to use TensorFlow Lite. TensorFlow Lite is a open source deep learning framework for on-device inference. So when I say on-device inference, you would have seen uh, my some of my previous uh, you know parallel series using jets and nano where i connect the camera and i start running the object detection the face recognition the voice recognition voice commands and everything is run inbuilt within the jets and nano however jets and nano is a very powerful single board computer running on gpu but microcontrollers like this right microcontrollers like uh, you know uh, Arduino BLE 33 Sense does not have any GPU or processing power like uh, single board computers. It's got very tiny RAM and uh, very limited uh, memory inside. That's why the TensorFlow Lite comes into picture and it's a uh, open source. It's a ready-made deep learning framework which can be deployed into your uh, 33 BLE. TensorFlow Lite is basically a set of tools, you know, that enables on-device machine learning. So we will be able to build, we, we will be able to gather data, you know, through the microphone and through, to, through the camera. We can connect the uh, ArduCam, we can capture images, we can capture the, uh, the temperature and the humidity. All those data we can capture and build a model, train the model, deploy that back into the 33 BLE and run the inference on the edge. You know, you can you can throw it away with a 3.3 volt battery and start running your uh, device, uh, running your ML application on this particular device. And that is that is exactly the IoT does, right? We will be building ton loads of IoT applications as well. So basically, TensorFlow Lite, as I said, it's a set of tools that enables the on-device machine learning by helping the developers, people like you and me, to run their models, run their inferencing models on the mobile, you know, on, on the mobile phone or on the embedded uh, devices like 33BLE or any of the IoT devices. So let's go ahead and install this library. I will show you how to do that in a minute. Let me open up my IDE. I hope you guys can see my screen. So what we need to do, go to sketch, open the sketch, click on sketch, go to include library and manage libraries. You will get this window and the list is getting updated. So leave it for a few seconds and then you go to the search bar and then here you type Arduino, A R D U I N O, Arduino underscore uppercase T E N S O R, tensor. I hope it shows up. There you go. So the first one which says Arduino TensorFlow Lite, right? So it, it's uh, the definition is pretty clear here. I had already installed it, I have already installed in my system. So that's why it says install. So the TensorFlow Lite, as it clearly mentions here, allows you to run machine learning models locally on your device. This library runs TensorFlow machine learning models on microcontrollers. Looks very powerful, guys, right? And allowing you to build AI ML applications powered by deep learning and neural networks. Wow. With the included examples, you can recognize speech, detect people using a camera and recognize magic wand gestures using an accelerometer. The example worked best with the Arduino 33 BLE Sense board, which has a microphone and an accelerometer. So guys, you can see the power you have in your hand, right? You have whole lot of deep learning AI and ML power within a little palm inside. You can just hold it tight and it can trigger a lot of other things, right? So 
let's go ahead and install this library i have already installed it i would highly recommend go to this more info page click on that link and read through this this is going to take you to tensorflow.org forward slash light microcontrollers this page guys you know i had spent almost about a week in this particular page and i i try to understand how it works and stuff like that so i suggest go ahead and read everything it's got ton loads of details and explanations and everything so go ahead read it build your skills enable your skills now couple of other things there are also more libraries here right so the kit which i use you know i am using for tiny ml uh, kit which i showed you in the beginning of the lesson uh, which has got a shield which has got a you know the expansion shield to in order to use that shield you need to install this library this is from harvard uh, uh, you know tiny mlx from the edx uh, course right so you got to install this if you want that kit let me know i can get it for you uh, because that's uh, this particular library is designed for accessing all those extension wires the cables the extension within the extension board you can connect external sensors and stuff like that all right guys so that's it for this particular uh, lesson and i hope you definitely enjoyed if you are not able to install if you encounter any issue in installing the tensorflow lite do reach out to me i'll help you guys and uh, yep that's it for this i will come back to you soon goodbye